Hey there, Sharon Hornell from your sipping delicious coffee. And one of my gifted Christmas mugs from my sister that's a year younger than me. Today, we are going to talk about, we're going to take a break from our goals, right? We spent the last nine plus days working on our 2024 goals. And yesterday I got super busy. And so instead of reviewing that today and combining and working on that, we're taking a day off to kind of let them ruminate. And we'll do that tomorrow. But today we're going to look at our lifeline exercise. And I need to grab mine because what we're going to do today is we're going to do a review of our lifeline exercise and thinking about 2023. How did that impact us in each of the different areas and aspects of our life? And we've done that, but we want to take some time to think about as we go about our day today and all of our holiday preparations, the different things that have happened in our life, some key events, what key events do we need or have we added to our lifeline this year and how have they interacted and impacted each of the different areas and aspects of our life. For example, uh, relationships. We had a loss in the family, a couple losses in the family. Uh, as we get older, as I get older, I find that um, we're losing people that are close to us almost every year now. Uh, and I suppose my, like my mom's 86. So she's, she's really feeling the pinch of that. Uh, I know she finally decided to relocate to Texas permanently because and she comes up in the summer for a couple of months, but she sold her home here uh, where we grew, the rest of us girls are. One of my sisters lives in Texas. One is building a house in Texas and two of us live here in Wisconsin still uh, in our hometown where we all grew up and where my parents raised us. And uh, she's finding that there are very few, if any, of her friends that are still living here. The same thing happened to her mom. Her mom lived to just shy of 100 years old. And I think one of the biggest things she missed was that all of her friends and people her age and acquaintances had passed away before her. Anyway, that I digress. We want to think about our lifeline today. If you need help with this, we've done this lifeline exercise at least 11 times this year. This is our 12th time. And prior to that, we've done it in last year's challenge. I believe we worked on it every single month. And then prior to that, I don't think that we did it in 2020 and 2021. Every We didn't do it every month because I only did a challenge every other month back then. So it's, I did a 30 plus day challenge every other month in 2020 to help get me through the pandemic. I'm blatantly honest, that's why I started doing it. I was doing challenges anyway, but I was like, all right, the whole world is blown up and changed in a metaphorical way. And I needed to make sure I was changing and keeping pace and moving forward along with it. Uh, and I'd been doing daily challenges. I don't remember what my daily challenge was in 2020. I'd have to go back and look. I do them and then I kind of get to the next one. And as I'm in the next one, I forget what the previous one was, which reminds me, if you have an idea for next year's annual challenge, I wasn't going to do one, but now as I get closer and closer to the end of the year, I get this urge. It's like when you go to school every fall and I don't know about you, but I always loved school. I didn't always love school, but once I learned that I had really bad vision and I reason I was struggling with things is I couldn't see a thing. I, I got glasses and my eyes were correct. And all of a sudden I loved school and I loved learning. And I still, after all the years of college and things, I still get that itch every August, like I should be going back to school and, and learning something new. So a lot of times that's when I will join different coaching programs personally or sign up for courses and things that I want in areas I want to improve in because it, it satisfies that urge and that itch to go back to school and continually learn. All right, so what are we doing today? Our lifeline exercise, we're reviewing it. We're going to just go over what we've done. This is my one from, actually, this is from 2020, I think. Let me see. 2020, 2021. This is my, my lifeline graphic, right? Because we just make a line of our life. We put key events on it and then we graph on it highs and lows of how it impacted our communication, our confidence, our contribution. Guess what? When I'm struggling in my life and I'm having a huge health challenge. I'm not contributing to anything else outside of myself in the world, except for me getting better. Because if I'm not healthy, I have nothing to give to the world. Things like that. So we want to look for those situations and those lessons learned because as soon as we learn the lessons, I find I don't have to repeat that experience again, which is usually for the negative experiences, a very good thing. If you need help with your lifeline, if you have questions, if you want to just talk through a couple of things with somebody, please hit me up and ask. Busy time of year, holidays and all, but uh, I'm available. You can always box or me at pajamagramma at gmail.com. It's a walkie talkie app, fastest, quickest, easiest way to get a hold of me. Otherwise, Questions, 
leave it in the comments below so that everybody can see the question because chances are if you have a question so do a lot of other people I always used to be afraid to ask questions and then I realized that when I asked a question all kinds of people's attention popped up because they had the same question so all the times that we think that we're alone and that we're the only one or that we're stupid or something or how come I don't understand this and everybody else does engineering classes were like that sometimes for me at college it's like okay physics especially why does everybody get physics except me I used to think that a lot all right have an awesome day. Again, write up guide 17 of the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group. Otherwise, also in that private Facebook group are all the previous challenges, all the discussions about lifelines. So there's lots of help and information, but I'm always a resource if you need it. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.